Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for March 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first oracle card. We've got a few oracle cards to pull and then we will pull some tarot cards. So what do we have? Sorry, let me just sort out my microphone. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for... Our lovely Sagittarians, March 2021. Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. Message for Sagittarius. Thank you. We have admit your vulnerabilities. It's not a weakness. It's a strength to recognize your vulnerabilities. Yeah. Very nice energy there. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, the card has fallen out. We have Inspire Passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. I mean, there may have been a reason to feel vulnerable here, Sagittarius, but the message is accept that, face them, own them, learn from them. And definitely there is an energy of new passion. You being a fire sign, I can see all this flame and fire being lit here, the spark. So I definitely feel this kind of energy of some something flaming your passions again. Okay. Message for Sagittarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for our lovely Sagittarius? Thank you. We have number 20, Hidden, Ra hidden Realms. Create conscious awareness. I mean, it, it feels in this energy... It's number 20, Sagittarius. This, this idea of one consciousness, we're all connected to divine energy, angel spirits, guides, becoming aware that you are being guided, held. It definitely feels for some of you that kind of energy. There's also something about self-discovery, releasing any subconscious Thing, experiences or traits that kind of energy as well it definitely I'm definitely getting that too you know when just things come to the surface things that you might not have thought of for a long time and it feels like it's there to be released as well but I'm definitely I'm definitely feeling this awareness that everything is connected and again there's divine energy one consciousness okay so what do we have for Sagittarius, please? So we have the pig, maintained self-worth and self-esteem, Archangels Mary, Gabriel and Uriel. Again, it could be to do with this vulnerabilities. And then we have Dolphin, live joyfully in the present, Archangel Jules. You know, sometimes we kind of focus so much on what's going to happen you know in the future or what's gone on in the past that we forget to actually just be don't we we forget to actually be in our light and that's a really important message there okay so Sagittarius I'm going to pull three cards the first card is the message from spirit the second card is what the message pertains to and the third card is Final words or actions to take. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. What is the message from spirit for Sagittarius? Remember, these are just messages. Okay. What is the message from spirit, please? Angels, spirits, guides.
Yeah, we have uh, the Seven of Wands. The Ten of Coins is what the message pertains to. And final words, we have the Tower. I'm going to pull another one with that, Sagittarius. Two of Swords. <laughs> we have Sagittarian energy, the Temperance, at the end. Okay. It feels like some of you are going through some Tower moment. You know, I'm going to start with this because it's such a powerful energy. It's a, it's a major arcana, you know, the Tower. Um, it's something that has happened here, Sagittarius, that has made you feel vulnerable. Towers can be truth, revelation, uh, rude awakenings, things that allow, jolt us forward to align us to where we need to be. It's an act of love from the universe, the Tower. It's an act of alignment to realign you to where you need to be it's not always easy energy it's a neutral energy actually it's not always easy um but it is meant for a purpose we tear many towers down in our lives it's the process of evolution of learning and building new towers you know as we evolve on the journey so it is that kind of energy of some of you may have gone through a tower now that could be in any life area or across your life can be in terms of money career, can be in terms of relationships or something that's affected your relationship, either within, within a relationship or something that's affected your relationship. And this feeling of, of being stuck in the tower and being challenged and not seeing the way forward, you know? Not having full clarity of how something's going to pan out here. Um, but the message is, you will become aware that you're being held, you are being guided through your intuition to a sort of energy. You know, the clarity isn't with the mind in this energy. The clarity comes from trusting the intuition, you know. Um, and it definitely feels in periods of being stuck. This is when you just have to surrender and just connect to your intuition to see the way forward in a situation because this is how you're being guided. And what are you being guided towards, Sagittarius? Well, you're being guided towards being back in your element, being reconnected to who you are. This will be the making of you, and that is very clear. Um, you know, your card appearing at the end of your reading, it's very clear that, yes, this is a tower that you have experienced, that you've been challenged on, but nevertheless, you will come through the other side stronger for it. This is temperance. When you temper metal, you know, it becomes twice as strong. So this will empower you. This will teach you. I mean, there's kind of like a higher learning associated with temperance. Um, these life experiences are needed to refocus, recalibrate and realign to your path going forward. But nevertheless, there is definitely an energy of you will be back in your element. Live joyfully in the present. You are being held, guided. It's fine to feel vulnerable. And that is the message from spirit. There's a recognition here that, yes, you are going through. You may well be going through a tower moment. Could be, like I said, it could be in whichever life area this is. Um, and it feels overwhelming with the seven of wands. And yet this person is on higher ground than that which opposes them. We have six against one. And yet this person is, has the upper hand, the advantage. And it's by will, determination, perseverance, action, self-belief in their own power and strength that they have the power to overcome anything that opposes them. So this is definitely an energy of, yeah, admit your vulnerabilities, but don't lose sight of those passions and desires this month because it's that which drives you and it's that which will drive you to overcome the challenge that you face and come through the other side of a situation so it feels very beautiful ten of pentacles what is the challenge about what does it pertain to well the ten of pentacles or ten of coins 
is a card of, I mean, it can be a card of family or committed relationships. It can be something that's affected your family or committed relationships or just challenges within relationships. So, but there's a message here that you have the power by persevering to overcome this and to, you know, come through the other side of it back in your element. Don't be ashamed of those vulnerabilities, you know, recognize your own vulnerabilities. Um, there is some kind of self-discovery going on here this month. But this can also be to do with money, career, business as well, the Ten of Pentacles, the challenge to get to the goal of having more money, more financial stability, greater wealth, security. This is a great card of wealth, abundance, long-term financial security. So for some of you, you might may have been challenged. This tower may have been the challenge um, to do with money career finances i mean it could be one area is affecting the other so it might well be your money and career is affecting your relationship too but nevertheless you are being realigned sagittarius and that's what the message from spirit is all about it feels very beautiful indeed i'm going to pull an advice card any other advice for sagittarius please with this reading any other advice for sagittarius please There's kind of an energy here, Sagittarius, of you You don't have the clarity, but you will. Again, listen to your intuition, Four of Cups. Because you're being guided towards something wonderful. You know, that cup, top right-hand corner, we have the three empty cups here, and then we have the cup that is divine energy. You're being guided down a specific route, down a specific path. Trust your intuition and take action towards where your instincts are guiding you. And final message, please, final advice. There's a lot of intuitive energy here. Just trust your intuition. Final advice, thank you. Yeah, you will get justice. You will reap what... There's definitely an energy of reaping what you sow, but it feels like in a good way. Um, if anything was unfair, anything to do with legal systems, government institutions, the message is, yeah, you are going to get justice. This is also a card of you will re-establish the balance in life as well, where there has been some destabilization. You, by your own energy, we have two balancing energies here of re-establishing the balance. So it definitely feels for some of you here, Sagittarius, there is a powerful energy of getting justice, truth being on your side you will overcome that which challenges you and come through the other side of the situation and it feels like you'll come through in your power twice as strong so one more card i'll pull one more card I feel i need one more card and then we will pull the final oracle card okay Final message, any angel spirits guides, any final message for Sagittarius? Yeah. The seven, sorry, the, what am I talking about? The, the hang, I don't know why I said seven. I don't know whether that means something to you. Uh, the hanging man is a card of just, it can, it can be a card of things haven't quite played out yet. That's why you haven't got the clarity here, but you will get that clarity. Um, you are being guided through your intuition and it feels towards justice. There's definitely this energy of reaping what you sow, truth being on your side, legal decisions going in your favor. Um, it definitely feels for some of you, Sagittarius, that balance will be restored. Fairness will be restored. Karma will have its day. It's that kind of energy. Um, this can be a card of waiting for things to play out, you know? So it might well be this month that you're just waiting for something to play out. And it definitely feels for some of you that it will. 
you will come through the other side of a situation. That's why there's a bit of a lack of clarity because maybe something isn't quite finished. But the message is, whatever this is, just allow yourself to be. Give yourself permission to be, to live in the now. Not think about what's gone, not think about what's ahead. But for some moments, you know, during the month, allow yourself to just be. You know, it's that kind of energy, however challenging. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final card. Okay, two cards. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the cards are in sync. We have number 21, listen to your inner voice. As we try to guide you, use your intuition. Absolutely, four of cups, two of swords. We have, we rejoice when you find love. Love comes in unexpected ways. T uh, number 24, I mean, you know, this could be love. This could be somebody, fa you know, it could be somebody showing you love somebody showing you care, you know, this connected consciousness here. Um, but I definitely feel for some of you, there's the helping hand energy. There's definitely this, I'm definitely getting this helping hand energy here. Um, and it's through, you know, you're being guided, connected consciousness, one consciousness, very beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.